to measure a constant velocity. Apparatus, motion sensor, trolley, runway, and a computer, and a data logger. Choose create an experiment. Scroll down to choose the motion sensor. Double click on the graph. Maximize. Drag velocity over to the Y axis. We want to measure a constant velocity. The force of gravity could speed up this car or the force of friction could slow it down. T to overcome the force of friction this trolley has specially designed frictionless wheels. If necessary we might have to adjust the slope of the runway. Click start, push, click scale, Here we can see that the trolley was slowing down. Here we can see its velocity on the way back. On the way down, the velocity was about 0.8 meters per second. On the way back, the average velocity was only about 0.4 meters per second. The trolley lost energy due to the collision. Some of its moving energy was converted to sound. We place a copy under the runway to use the force of gravity to stop the car from slowing down. Start, push. Here we see the velocity going down is a lot more constant. It's very close to 0.5 meters per second. That's 50 centimeters per second. Start, push. Magnify. And this is really constant. Here, on the way down, the velocity is 0.35. And on the way back, it starts off at 0.17 meters per second. And it goes down to, on this recording, 0.08 meters per second. So there's two things to notice there. Firstly, it lost energy. It went from 0.38 down to 0.17 meters per second. Finally, on the way back, it was also slowing down because the slope, of course, was in the wrong direction, slowing down the car.